Welcome to the video everyone. Today we're talking about clickbait and transformation videos. So, clickbait and transformation videos, they're controversial because one side of it I understand where some people are why some people are using them. Another side, I think that they're lies and they're trying to sell you something. So, in this video I'm going to go over what they do and how to look out for it so you can identify, yes that's clickbait, yes that's probably fake and then you can either choose to listen to the person or ignore the person because you know they're probably selling you some lies. You type into YouTube transformation you get a ream and ream of stuff so how do you know what's real and what's fake? Well usually how the person does it or people do it is they'll take an image from them like being a bit disheveled, like maybe they need a haircut, their beard is scruffy or they have facial hair, they have body hair and they puff out their stomach and then they'll take that photo, even if they have a six pack you can still push out your belly and then it looks like you don't have one anymore. <laughs> then you take that image, you make you look sad in the image and then they make it grey and make you look a bit ill looking to be honest and they do that because everything about that image now has become bad you know they don't look well they don't look happy and they look you know they look pale so everything about it screams in your mind bad and the other image could have been taken two seconds afterwards so just like what I'm going to show you here here is me one flexing and one like looking depressed, looking a bit disheveled and pu puffing out my stomach. I look completely different. So, and then if I want, I can take that image and then take it to Photoshop and make it look worse. And then I can take the better of me flexing image, take the best one in the light, best bit of the lighting and then enhance it and then make me look amazing or as amazing as I can with Photoshop. These are the final images. This is what, what I look like when I put myself into Photoshop. And you can see the before and after, it's a really big contrast, but they're taken at the same time. So I don't have an amazing physique, but as you can see, it's very easy to do and it's very easy to be convinced by these, these uh, clickbaits. Now, I have actually been on a three week diet. Uh, after Christmas, I wanted to lose some weight. Uh, because obviously I was ill over Christmas, not obvious because you don't know or maybe you do know, but I was ill over Christmas and I put on some extra pounds because I couldn't go to the gym. So I wanted to lose about six to eight pounds in four weeks. So I've hit that goal. I've hit uh, six pounds lost. I look pretty good compared to a picture I put on Instagram uh, three weeks ago. I'll put it up on screen now and then I'll put the unedited version of the picture that I took up now. So that's an unedited picture, so that's me, and then that's me. So these are realistic, this is a real six pound change on a normal individual down. Now yes, I don't have a six pack, and yes, I don't have the best physique, but it just shows you what you can do in real life, where you're, you're looking at these people who are fitness experts, these people who've been doing it for years. Now, I want to get onto another topic, which is my mini cut and you know why I'm doing it and how I think it went. I think it went really well. I didn't do any cardio. I literally didn't get up at 4 a.m. and think I'm gonna go for a run. I did my normal workout. I did it as the heaviest I could do and the best I could do. I ate 2,000 calories a day. I followed, used my fitness pal to track that. I tracked all of my food. And the only thing that I really changed is I tried to walk a bit more. My diet was restricted, so I was 500 calories less on my diet. And in three weeks, I lost six pounds. And I believe that's real six pounds of fat and some water because I'm lifting the same as I was three weeks ago or you know last year. So I'm just as strong, but I do look better. That's the kind of change you want when you do a mini cut or when you do a diet. So going back to the whole clickbait, there's two different types of clickbait that I, there's one that's really, really bad and one that I will say is okay when it comes to transformations. So there's someone I follow called Student Aesthetics and he uses clickbait. The content he has is very informative. He's giving you free information about how to diet, how to train, how he's doing. 
Um, you can buy his services, but he doesn't push things on you. He's just sharing his knowledge for free. And to get you in, he uses that clickbait. And, and I think that's okay. What I don't agree with is when someone uses clickbait, like they literally, they take a picture of themselves all hairy, push their stomach out, two minutes later, they've shaved, they've oiled up, they've pumped up, they've got themselves pumped up with a, a band or something. Even I did it to try and get that good image for my thumbnail to get you guys in. And then what they do is they try and sell you something like this pill will make you go from this to this. This diet will make you go from this to this. And then the old people will buy into it and they'll lose weight or maybe they won't. But sometimes they will, they'll go onto this crazy diet, they'll lose loads of weight, and then what happens after that? What happens when the diet finishes? It's 30 days, you don't look like the guy at the end of it because that guy is a fitness professional, he's a model. Uh, you also, yes, you'll have lost 20 pounds, but you've probably just lost a lot of uh, muscle, body fat, and water, so it's just you just shrank, so it's a bad weight loss. And then what's gonna happen after that's over? You've not picked up any good habits, you've just restricted yourself on this crazy diet and then because you don't have the good habits, you go back to the way you were in maybe a month or two or maybe a bit longer, but it didn't change your habits. When I first lost weight, when I first made a transformation, I went from this to this. Now that took 12 months and you think, wow, that's a long time and I haven't got that kind of time. Yes, you do. If you're going to live for a hundred years, a hundred years, what's one year to learn how to eat and how to train or how to do some activity that makes you happy and gives you results? So you continue just walking three times. Imagine if you just walk three times a day, clean up your diet and you looked exactly the way you wanted to look. You know, that takes time. That takes habit. It didn't take you one year to learn how to read and write. It took us a long time. Well, it took me a long time. So these habits, these things that are very important, that everyone cares about, everyone talks about, but they want it now. They want it right now. And that's why these clickbaits are preying on the people who are looking at them and the people who believe they can get it right now. And you can't. So thank you for watching the video. And if you learned something new, please like the video. Uh, this will be the last mini cut uh, video that I will be doing. I know I said that I wanted to mini cut for four weeks. However, I've reached the goal. I lost six pounds. Could I actually probably weigh a little less, but it's just I weighed myself at quarter to six in the morning, so in the AM. If I'd have waited maybe an hour or two, you know, after things have moved around in the body, um, I will probably weighed a couple of pounds less. But you know, going off the scale, weighing myself every single day, I'm generally down about six genuine pounds, and I'm happy with that. So. Anyway, if you want to watch me go into a leaning bulk phase, uh, that's what will be up next week. But I'm going to Amsterdam first. So lots of updates. So subscribe if you want to see more, uh, if you want to see more content like this. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.